What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. This shit is not for kids. Today we have another WWE action figure set up and it is Survivor Series 2019 edition. So ladies and gentlemen, coming up this weekend we do have one of the big four pay-per-views of the year. We have Survivor Series 2019 and I'm going to be honest with you guys, usually I look at Survivor Series and you say, I know what Brad, you know, it's going to be good wrestling, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be what it is, it's going to be shits and giggles flying all over the ring. And I'm usually not that hyped for it because I feel like it's a wasted pay-per-view. Most of the time we don't have championship matches. Is it's usually champion versus champion or it's you know the five on five traditional matchup and there's nothing really at stake besides brand supremacy and you know Smackdown versus Raw freaking PlayStation 2 days hit me down in the comment section below with some nostalgia bro best best video games ever man come on here comes the pain included come on if you were a kid when those games came out holy Christ you you had the best childhood of all time but anyways ladies and gentlemen this year for Survivor Series I am I am like I I, I kind of am, am worried so we take my temperature because I'm kind of, you know, worried about how how excited I am for Survivor Series. With NXT being added, I think that has a lot to do with it. We have so many good championship matches. We have so many... The Survivor Series 5-on-5-on-5 five 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 elimination match is going to be bitching. I mean, dude, this, this year it is going to be lit. My boy Roddy Strong going versus AJ and Shinsuke. This shit is about to get lit sauce up in Survivor Series 2019. I also apologize for my voice if it's hoarse or whatever. I'm dealing with some, some smagla in the throat and I'm dealing with just coldness and stuff with the temperature changing outside every single day in Alabama. It goes from freaking 30 to 90 to 30 and it, it's effing me up in the skull bro. Shout out Matt Riddle. But right now guys, we're going to go through this setup. I'm going to take you through it all. We got all the figures in here. We got some cool things in it and we got a lot of fantasy stuff kind of going on but you know what? It, just it, Let me have my moment man. Let me do what I do, alright? So let's go ahead and get started with this setup. We're going to go all the way through and let's get it going. Alright guys, so we're going to start off in the corner right here and and I can already tell my voice has got a little deepness to it. I wish it would stay like this. Maybe maybe it'll stay like this. Give it a little, you know, a couple ticks deeper. But anyways, right here, ladies and gentlemen, you will see we got the balance going on. Shout out to my boy Adam for the for the posing right here. I tried to do it like him, trying to get the F5 balance to put him through this table. But Rey Mysterio wasn't having it. I think it's because his arms are too short to, to reach down. However, uh, he's looking good right here. <laughs> he's getting planted through the table. Brock Lesnar about to slam his ass right through there. And I think that this match is going to be pretty good. You know, I, I hate to say it, but I think Rey Mysterio, you know, since coming back, he hasn't done anything of importance. This is easily the best thing he's done since coming back, but up to this point, I mean, he lost a lot of matches. He did win a couple here and there, but his big losses, like, he lost a lot on TV. He got, ex you know, just destroyed by Bobby Trashley. He got destroyed by a couple other guys on TV. I think Braun Strowman and uh, a few other guys. So, having, having him here in this matchup is good, you know, to give him something to do. Maybe he'll overcome the beast, but right now, he is not. You know, it's a no holds barred match. We're probably going to see Cain Velasquez if he's not injured and all that. So, uh, it, this thing could literally go either way. I'm excited to see how big Brock Lesnar is versus Ray. Hopefully, they give us some creative stuff, but I really did want to put this in the setup with uh, Ray getting put through the table. We'll come to the left, ladies and gentlemen. We have the fiend Bray Wyatt. You guys know his home is on Fox now, so you know we had to have the Blue Universal Championship represented in the setup right there. Custom made. Let me know if you still want that tutorial. The fiend is obviously putting the mandible claw onto Daniel Bryan, who he will be taking on. Actually looking forward to this match. You know, uh, uh, I think it'll probably be kind of a squash because I don't know how you're supposed to make this a match of any sorts. Um, you know, Daniel or Seth Rollins didn't have really any luck inside Hell in a Cell. And the way they booked The Fiend last time was just, you know, it was terrible. Like, we all ripped it apart in Hell in a Cell. And I don't know how you book him in a regular wrestling match. Unless this man fights God himself, I'm not sure because, you know, they made him look like Jason Voorhees out there taking all these shots and stuff. I feel like they booked him into a corner now in any other wrestling match. But I'm, I'm I'm interested to see how this one goes, but I'm expecting a squash. Here's Daniel Bryan getting mandible clawed on the table with our uh, blue Universal Championship. We go to the left just a little bit more, ladies and gentlemen. We do have this beautiful triple threat match that I am looking forward to a lot. We have Shayna Baszler versus Becky Lynch versus Bailey, and all three of them here are kind of, uh, well, let's say, Becky Lynch is on top of Shayna here, and I think the man's going to, you know, I think I, I'm kind of afraid because I feel like they're going to give it to Shayna. You know, they've built her up so much that I think they could easily 
easily give it to her again right here. Let her pick up the victory over Bailey and Becky trying to send her off uh, before she goes off to the main roster. Even though it seems like NXT is the main roster. We all know that. But it seems like they're trying to transition into this like third brand on the main roster. Especially here in the last few months. But that is not what's going to go down here. I have Becky Lynch beating the hell out of Shayna. And then, you know, you see the shock and awe on Bailey's face right there with her women's championship. And so I'm, I'm excited for this one. I'm definitely hyped for this one. I can't wait to see who comes out on top between the three brands of the women. Something else I forgot to mention, guys, is I low-key wish we were getting Adam Cole versus Bray Wyatt versus Brock Lesnar. That's something I really wanted to see. Let me know if you're more hyped for the three separate matches or did you want to see a triple threat match as well. Coming into the corner, ladies and gentlemen, we have Sasha Banks and Charlotte. These are the only two represented from their teams because the, uh, we had a star-studded packed action figure set up. I had to pack in, you know, the best of the best. And uh, I feel like both women's teams are kind of weak. I think Raw has a stronger, uh, a stronger team for Survivor Series. However, uh, I did want to put the big names in here, Sasha and Charlotte. So I have Sasha getting the comeuppance on Charlotte right there. I like Sasha a little bit more than Charlotte. So I have the stool getting planted on Charlotte, getting destroyed right there. And hopefully the same thing happens at Survivor Series. Because Sasha Banks' team is absolute trash. Garbage. Coming behind here, guys, you will see we have some Team NXT versus Team SmackDown right here. And I'm not sure if Matt Riddle is going to be on a team. It's just kind of speculation at this point. I know Keith Lee and stuff like that is also in there. But Matt Riddle on top of Mustafa Ali just giving him the stuff right there with the forearm to the back of the skull. About to land it right there. I really like the Matt Riddle custom. Let me know what you think of the Matt Riddle Elite custom down in the comment section below. Need to get that basic Series 103 Matt Riddle to put on there. But right now, he's looking pretty good. And he is beating the shit out of Mustafa Ali. We come just beyond, guys. And I'm not sure if Killian Dane's going to be the number one contender versus Adam Cole. I'm having him join Team NXT for Survivor Series. or I, I, I don't know exactly who we're going to have. But I did have him here in the setup. I think Ciampa, he's missing from the setup. He could possibly be a, a member of Team NXT as well. For now, I have Killian Dane right here, and he's giving a bear hug to, to Shorty G slash Chad Gable right here in the corner. We come to the right just a little bit more, guys. We will have Adam Cole and Pete Dunne staring down. This is the match that I want to see at Survivor Series. I want to see Pete Dunne go one-on-one -on -one with Adam Cole, two of my favorites in the world right now, and I want to see them go one-on-one -on -one to Survivor Series on the main roster. Give them some time. I'm not sure if Damian Priest or Killian Dane will be in this spot, but if it were me booking it, I would have Pete Dunne get the win and uh, have him take on Adam Cole. So we have Adam Cole and Pete Dunne sort of taunting each other in the face. Well, it's, it, it seems more like Adam Cole taunting Pete Dunne. You get the idea. We come, a, we come a little bit more to the right, guys, and we will have Randall Keith, my boy, laying out Trash Corbin, Trash King Corbin with an RKO planting him right there. And I think that, uh, you know, Trash Corbin, he, he, Jesus, man, they make him, like, not only is he just terrible, but they book him terrible, too. They make him look like a jackass, which I guess is good, but uh, if you're going to make a believable heel, he doesn't need to look stupid. However, I have him looking stupid here. Hypocritical. But I don't like him. Maybe they don't like him. So why do you push him, man? I don't know. Anyways, Randall Keith laying out Trash Corbin right there. Uh, just taking out the trash, if you get what I mean. We come to the right, guys. We have some more Survivor Series traditional matchup going right here. This is one that I'm very excited for. Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns squaring off in the middle of the ring. We've seen it before. We've seen it a bunch in the, in the past, but every time these men get together in the ring, they have a, they have a pretty good instant classic. I mean, and there's, there's plenty of examples out there on the network. Go check them out. And so I have them going battle here in the setup. Why not have the top two captains from Raw and SmackDown teeing off on each other? I would really like to see a heel turn by Seth Rollins in this matchup just at the end of the match, maybe cost his team or something. I don't know. I just want to see something happen with Rollins' character. He's been very bland since, you know, winning the Universal Championship, and his title reign was terrible. They booked him like a clown. He sounds so far... He, he literally is the, tw you know, the 2015 through 18 Roman Reigns, and uh, he He's taken over that title. It's kind of ridiculous. Everybody used to love him. You remember when he was, you know, protecting the Intercontinental title and just defending it and making it look great? Yeah, what happened to that? He needs to turn into a badass, turn heel, bring back the Seth Rollins laugh, and do so at Survivor Series 2019. Coming back here, guys, we have another guy laid out on the table, but it is Drew Mac and Salad right here laid out on the table, and we have the beautiful Ricochet custom by my boy Mac underscore decals jumping off the ladder onto Drew McIntyre here. And so Drew McIntyre's laid out on the ladder, and and uh, Ricochet is definitely coming down on him here. It'd be cool to see some action like this in the Survivor Series matchup. I doubt it happens, but you know, you never know. I mean, Survivor Series is kind of unpredictable, but I did want to put the custom Ricochet here if we're going to put him in the setup. So he's on top of the ladder, about to come off the top and land on Drew McIntyre, planting him through that table, and it's going to be epic sauce. We come to the ladder, guys. Speaking of splashes through tables and ladders and ish and farts and bags, we have Braun Strowman coming off of the storage units onto Kevin Owens. I should have done the opposite, but I figured, you know, I already have Raw kind of dominating SmackDown in this 
setup. So I had to flip the script. I hate to see it. It makes me sick to my stomach because you guys know Kevin Owens is one of my most beloved superstars. He's one of my favorites in the entire universe, and he's one of my favorites of all time, and he is getting planted by one of my least favorite talents right now, and that is Jan Strowman. So it sucks to see it. it. It pains my soul to see this shit happen here on the setup, but I had to do it just because I had to be balanced. You know, I couldn't be biased in the setup. I totally could, but I did not be biased here, and so he's planting him through the ladder. Uh, it's kind of creative. We have the two stretchers on each side, and then the ladder in the middle, planting him through the middle there. Got Kevin Owens on the cell, about to crash through there, and it looks all good. Coming here, guys, we have some biasness here. I'm not going to lie. There's some biasness here. We have Roderick Strong hitting a backbreaker onto AJ Styles. I think Roderick Strong did it to Golly. I doubt it happens. I think they're going to give the victory to AJ at Survivor Series, but wouldn't it just be beautiful to see Roderick Strong pick up that win over AJ Styles here? Not only would it be AJ, but it would be Shinsuke Nakamura, who's unconscious back there, you can see. But Roderick Strong hitting the backbreaker on AJ. Please give me a Roderick Strong victory at Survivor Series. That would be excellent. In the back here, you will see we have Undisputed Era, Kyle O'Reilly, and Bobby Fish, who have laid out Shinsuke. So, I know that we have the Viking Raiders versus New Day versus Undisputed Era. Apparently, it's been announced. I'm, I'm freaking hyped for that. I think that match is going to tear the damn house down. I hope every match on this card gets some time to shine. But here, Undisputed Era helped out Roddy, and they took out Shinsuke, and then, uh, obviously, Roddy took out AJ. And uh, th that, that's probably my match that I'm lo most looking forward to, so hopefully it delivers. And then we end our setup, guys. If you look over the top, who is who is looking over the top but Finn Balor looking over all the madness of both rosters that he has occupied. We have the main roster in NXT both getting taken out, uh, and, we, and we have Finn Balor chilling over the top watching it. My boy Finn Balor looking excellent up there, man. And uh, I, I thought about it. You know, I think if Matt Riddle is on Team NXT, then they're not going to put Finn Balor on it. But I think if Finn Balor, or I'm, I'm sorry, if Matt Riddle doesn't join Team NXT for Survivor Series, I could definitely see Finn Balor coming out, being a surprise entrant in there. Uh, Kevin Owens could possibly, uh, you know, ditch the Team Raw because he got, you know, destroyed. I don't know. There's a lot of possibilities going on with the show, and I'm very excited for it, and I can't wait to see not only what happens in Survivor Series, but War Games. I think I'm definitely more excited for War Games, but both both matchup cards are going to be epic. Both shows are going to be so freaking sweet, man. I, I am so excited, and you guys know I don't typically get excited for pay-per-views because WWE doesn't really book things the way they should be booked, and they kind of disappoint us a lot of the time, but I am hyped for this show, and hopefully it's not for nothing. Hopefully they deliver on it, and we're going to cover it all here on the channel, and we got our predictions coming up. We have our uh, review coming on Sunday night, so definitely stay tuned for it. Tomorrow, MDT Live Episode 15 will be up, and that is the go-home show for MDT Hell's Gate, so get ready for that. I hope you guys did enjoy the setup. Comment down below what your favorite portion of the setup is. I would love to hear it down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.